Hey everyone. All right, so after doing the first batch of uh, vision world bosses, beginner bosses basically, now it's time to do the potentially stronger or harder ones. We'll see how that goes. We're starting with the um, Miss, Miss Palm, which is, uh, let me show you where this is on the map. So, oops. It's uh, right at the top here, Woods of a Wanderer. And yeah, this is the team we'll be going for. I do have two teams prepared, on the one hand this one, and on the other hand this one. Both fairly similar, right? Um, not too shabby. So let's go. And I'll show the gear on the second fight. I just forgot about it. All right, let me just, oh, it's AOE. That makes capping even easier, honestly. Um, first of all, we're gonna have, um, Celeste do her song, 45% ice amp, 250 LB boost, but we don't need the LB boost, honestly, because uh, Angela has her own. All right, Louise is going to just target, or actually, Louise is going to incapacitate the main body and do killers, etc., etc., etc. All right. Bulwark is going to... Do we have enough? Yeah, we do. So Bulwark is going to do plant killer for us and um, reduce ice resistance. Okay. Angela is going to limit, obviously. Why can't I? Anyway, uh, we're going to do triple AR. Uh, uh, double AR, one AR and double SR. I think that was the wrong order. Um, chaotic Shuriken. Yeah, Tempering and Diamond. And Xorn is going to do the same. Now, the side enemies, they will not... That was the wrong one. They won't be chained on, but that's fine. I mean, I could always time this like it, but I'm probably not going to. Anyway. So, let's send in Angela first. We're gonna wait quite a while now. And now we're gonna send in these two. So yeah, she triple capped, I guess. Thirty billion. Easy. Angela makes this fight so much easier, but... Um, yeah. So the issue with Vivi is going to be that he may or may not target the wrong enemies because reflecting is kind of an issue here. But ultimately it's really fine. All right. Miss Palm level two. Let's repeat and then replenish energy, I guess. Let's do this, let's do that, let's do this. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't care, Google. Alrighty, let's send in Angela. Let's wait, wait, send these two in. Okay, I missed the mark on the side enemies, but who cares? She still dealt 9.4 billion to the sides without chains. I think this is fair to assume, not too hard. Alrighty. And the final stage, Woods of Vandara Miss Palm. Let's do this again. Let's replenish some more energy here. Oh, I hope you didn't hear my stomach growling. <laughs> I haven't eaten much today. I should get some food. But first, let's set our priorities straight. Let's do this first. All right. Let's do all the buffs, etc, etc, etc. Send in Angela. Let's wait, wait, wait. Here it goes. All 
I only dealt 3 billion on the sides. Ultimately fine though. I was closer than I expected it to be, but we still dealt 11 billion, so it's good. <laughs> All the damage from. So this boss is actually super tanky then if the sides got hit for 3 billion each, meaning the main body gods only hit for 5 billion. Hmm. A tanky one, I suppose. So I think I'll have to postpone my Vivi clear and do something else later um, without Angela, because I don't think many of you pulled for Angela, so I'll think about a strat later today or tomorrow for this boss. All right, next up is going to be the Shimmering Ruins, uh, dark physical stage. Well, that uh, sounds like a job for Sephiroth. So let me make a quick cut and I'll be right back with the team. All right, we are back with the next one. Weak, uh, it's light gazer, it's a fairy type boss, weak to dark, defense low. This is the team. Uh, Greg or Gilgamesh is in Brave Shift for the Imperil. Venera for the 90% break. If you don't have Venera, you could use Hawkeye, but Hawkeye kills the boss. Uh, you could use Lara, but Lara kills the boss. So Venera is technically speaking the best choice here. But if you don't have either of the three, no Hawkeye, no Lara, no Venera, you can always bring Cacteria for the 87% breaks. That's fine. Um, I am bringing Cacteria regardless because she's using Relieving Song, which is a 300% stat buff for the whole party. Because we cannot use, um, what's her name? Um, what's her name? Arif, Cetra Arif. We can't use her because she immediately kills the boss with a limit burst. So that's too bad. And the base form limit burst um, imbues with light. We don't want that really. So that's why we are ending up with this. Sephiroth's gear, uh, yeah, the standard I'd say, 300 Fairy, 300 LB, the good stuff. Okay, let's go. Oh, and he's obviously using his own vision card piece because he is at EX plus 3. Alrighty. So Venera is going to 90% break. Cafeteria is going to Relieving Song, Gilgamesh is going to do the Dark uh, Imperil. So let's do Gilgamesh first, we don't want to really do too much damage, please don't kill the boss. Wow, he does zero. He actually does zero damage. I think this skill doesn't even do damage, so that's good. Alright, let's limit. And yeah. And that's it for the fight. Oh, he's... Wait... He has evasion, could that be? Oh boy, okay. Um, well... I guess we are building this for double hand then. Um, what's this TMR bonus again? Oh, Heartless Assassin, okay. So I guess we're gonna go for True Double Hand. That was unexpected, honestly. Uh, why do I have my True Double Hand stuff? Pluey Saber, no element, two-handed, sounds good. We need... His trust master bonus though. Oh, I have it already equipped. Oh yeah, I do. Okay. Now Xorn has his trust master already equipped, so all we need is just a two-handed weapon on him. Uh, let's pick the first best here with accuracy, obviously. Um, I know what I can do. Red sword. There we go. I know from memory that this is a two-handed weapon. Okay. In this case though, we need to double AR and SR. Or else I don't think we're gonna get to 100 chain score, but doesn't matter, honestly. So let's 
So let's repeat, repeat, repeat. Yeah, the boss definitely has accuracy oh, or some form of um, stuff that we don't want. Anyway, let's go and send in stuff. Alright, I forgot about the no double AR, but it's still fine. Let's see the damage. Should be capped though. Yeah. Okay, great. So all good in the end. But whew, that um, passive evasion threw me off. Wait, what? Oh. Right, we need dark imbue. I forgot about the Dark Imbue. Right. Um, who can Dark Imbue the team? Who can Dark Imbue? Everyone at best. Hmm. Do we even have a Dark Imbue? I mean, I could always go for dark weapons then. Let's see. This is not a two-handed weapon. This is stone, so that's nice. And let's see if we have a dark two-handed weapon here somewhere. Uh... That's unfortunate, I guess. Right, this is a two-handed one. It is. Okay, great. So, we got this. Let's repeat this. And do it properly this time. But I'm still thinking, who would be a full Team Dark imbue? I don't think Carton has a full Dark Imbue. I think he only has to himself. Why is Gilgamesh the... Oh, yeah, probably. I got lucky. Anyway, let's send these in and we're done. Yeah, this looks more like it. My bad. Still 11 billion though, so... Looks like these bosses are a little bit more tanky. But still Sephiroth doing all the work here. Alright. Light Gazer level 2. Let's see if Sephiroth still has it in him. Or if we need to... Um, Think differently. Come on. And, yep. So let's repeat. Send Shanus, send Seth. Seth still capped easily. Very nice. But it's getting ever so close. Next one might not even cap anymore. Alrighty. Looking mighty fine. Oh, we are so close to the 202 million scores too, so I guess I am getting the STMR mock. Um, yeah, let's repeat, let's replenish energy. And we'll see. Come on. All right. And here's the moment of truth. Can Sephiroth still cap this very last stage? Send in, let's go. Sephiroth, do your job properly. Ooh, Sephiroth did not cap. 
Okay, so I guess we need a proper team then. No, we don't. We actually do not need a proper team because I can just use Cetra Arif for more stat buffs. Let's go. So now we have 400 stat buffs, 250 LB boost. I think Sephiroth is going to do this. So let's do this, this and that. We're gonna repeat, send in Seth and he should do this. There we go, Sephiroth. You still got it in you, you just need it. A little bit of help from Arif. Why would you ever kill Arif? She's so useful. There we go. I'm done. Kind of surprised that Sephiroth was not able to 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 defeat or to cap this fight without Arif. But yeah, I guess these bosses are getting progressively harder as we speak. Okay, looking good so far. Everything capped. Uh, what's still left to do? Lightning weakness and earth magic. I guess we're gonna go for lightning next. So let me quickly prepare my team and I'll be right back. Alrighty. So the next boss we are tackling is Dolan, level one, type beast, lightning weakness. Defense and spirit are both low. We are supposed to keep our defense raised and watch for fractional HP damage, but we won't care because this is a turn one ODK. So I brought Luis for the spirit break, uh, Adele for the instant imbue on, or instant, you know what I'm getting at, instant LB fill on Steiner. We also brought uh, our boys Rain and Fina for the increase in uh, Beast Killer and Luna Freya for the Ramu field effect. So let's do another 100 energy. I do have way more than enough. Now the only thing I'm kind of worried about is that um, Vivi won't have his... Um, what's it called? Uh, stat buffs, but we should be fine regardless. So here's magic boost Rain and Fina will Just let me see uh, Which one is the correct one? I think it's blazing veil. Yeah So let's just do blazing veil Adele is going to Encourage Steiner for his stuff and Vivi is going to quad reflect Fandega onto the team onto the boss and we'll have G's Louise do um, some boosts I guess wait no I'm not fire foam incapacitate I will click this the correct one at some point trust me okay All good. Let's target the own team. And go. Yeah, I guess with each one hitting for one billion, the first one is a dead giveaway when it comes to capping. We are done with the first one. And I'll show the gear on this very next attempt. Oh, we dealt 100 billion even. So I guess Vivi, he dealt a little bit of damage. Three hundred sixty-four billion, to be precise. But we didn't get the effect of attacks. Uh, yeah, I should fix that. It's five attacks that I need to do, but that's the least of my issues. So I will do this on this fight, no problemo. Um, will I though? Let's unequip. This unit only. 
Okay, so let me show you the gear. Uh, Steiner does not matter. I gave him Dragon's Brush, but he doesn't need this. And uh, Call of the Wild in advance, don't need it. Vivi's gear, there we go. The good stuff, right? He's got 275 beast, and that's good. And this vision card from Louise. Louise, no gearing. Madame, no gear. No gear, no gear. Let's try this again and do this properly. Um, we're not gonna do this properly because we don't have any lightning attack again. I just realized. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. I kind of feel dumb because we're gonna fail the mission again, but whatever. I should give someone a lightning weapon. Um, yeah, Del and Trust, Rain do your stuff, you do your stuff, Moonlight Slash. I could give Steiner, he, he actually damages the boss, doesn't he? Yeah, I should just give Steiner a, a lightning weapon then. You know what, I'm just... Nah. I'm just gonna do it now, while it costs one energy, so I'm gonna give Steiner a one-handed weapon and we're good. One-handed lightning weapon, that is. Alright, so... Lightning, here we go. Take this mace in your face, and off we go. And now we're good to go. Steiner as well. Wait for us to finish. And do your job, VB. Oh, it's only one fifth this time around. But with all of these attacks, no worries in the world that he won't cap. Sixty billion. Sounds about right. It's only one fifth of the damage, though. So we dealt 350 billion on the first one and 60 billion on the second one. So that's only one fifth this time around. It's going to be, I'm very curious to see now if we still can cap the final one, but I would assume so. And if you have a Sekura, the Ram of Sekura, it's going to be even easier, but I don't have her. So final stage Dolan, let's do the same team, same approach, no changes. And let's hope that Vivi can cap this. And reflect, off we go. Ooh, that boss is tanky. I don't think Vivi is going to cap this. No way. Nope, he is certainly not capping this one. Oh, only three billion, huh? I think it's time we bring out the big guns here. That was weak sauce, Vivi. I'm disappointed. Wait, what? It's still damage cap? It is, right? I am confused. Did I actually still damage cap this? Um, 30k was also the cap here, right? Yeah. So is the cap 2.17 billion? It does not compute, honestly. Um, but I guess we cap damage. So I need to recap this one too. That's interesting. All the effects. <laughs> Alright, let's reflect this. Alright, so we also cap this fight then. Properly. So, to, I'm gonna ask Sinsar on this. Because um, he probably will know. I 
I guess it's 30k, most damage in one turn. Huh, weird. But yeah, it would appear so. Oh, so Sinsar says 2.147 including Sable. Huh. That is easy. Why did I stress out so much then? Huh. Earth Magic is next up. Well, this would be Diverti's time to shine, but I don't have Diverti. So <laughs> we're gonna have to find our way around this. Does Vivi have Earth? I don't think he does, right? Sadly, he does not. So uh, yeah, if you have Diverti, congrats, you're gonna cap this one. Uh, I don't, but I do have Angela, so I don't need um, anything else, honestly. So let's replace him with Angela. He's probably somewhere at the top. Um, where's Angela? There she is. And yeah, what, what type is this? Avian. This would have been so good for Vivi, not gonna lie. But yeah, Vivi does not have Earth magic. Anyway, let me prepare the team quickly and I'll be right back. All right, we're back with the uh, next stage is a Dan Guard, Avian, Earth Weakness, Spirit Low. Sounds about right and sounds about pretty easy. Um, I just got spoiled by Sinsir that all the bosses have a 2.147 billion damage cap. So going for 10 billion, well, it does nothing. But I will still treat these bosses with a little bit more respect. I like them. So yeah, uh, we're using Angela. If you have Diverti, Diverti does the trick. However, since we do know now that um, 2.147 is the cap, you can always just suffer off your way out of this. Anyway, this team, these three unequipped, I think their use is very obvious here. So let's just go in and do this. Oh, that looks so cool. That is so cool. I'm loving this. All right, Angela is going to limit. Jeez Louise is going to do some buffs, some killer buffs, incapacitate, stuff and stuff. Roka, uh, where is her LB stuff? Uh, her, her amplification, there we go. Earth Infliction. Um, well, and plants and stone. Oh yeah, stone. I don't need. So earth infliction. Cafeteria is going to just hollow desert for the one thirty three imperil. That's the only thing we need here. And both shadow and uh, Xon will just cap this one out. AR, double SR. Let's send in Angela. Let's wait and we'll go. Boom. I don't think she capped damage, did she? She did, apparently. Okay, so I misread it, probably. I think I saw 7 billion. That's why I'm just a little bit confused. Yeah, 9.99, all good. Looking mighty fine. Still rocking that rank one. Dan guard level two, let's rinse and repeat. We need 20 plus 40, right, is it 20? It is, so 60 in total, meaning four more. Now we go. All right, and we'll rinse repeat. This, this, this. Let's wait for all of this to finish. Here we go. Oh, that's gonna fail for sure. It, it, it still failed nonetheless because we don't have a ch 100 chain, so 
But it's good to know that Angela is strong enough to just cap this without any chain whatsoever. It's funny, I think, in my opinion. But let's do this properly, shall we? Okay, let's start with Angela. All right, and let's send the chainers in. There should be enough leeway. Yeah, all right. There we go. I love the background. It's so cool. It's really awesome. All right. Perfect. Ranking up in the world. And the final one. Up in the sky, Dan Guard. Okay, I'm still spending the energy because I don't want to wait seven minutes or six minutes. Here we are, repeating stuff all around. Let's wait for all of this to finish. There we go. And there we go. Angela still capped this one out. Angela is so unbelievably strong. Holy smokes. But she does get parameter boost, so the result's a little bit skewed. We still dealt more than 10 billion. So yeah, all good. We only need 2.17 billion, so 2.147, sorry. So yeah, still damage cap, easy. Okay. Rank 99. So do we have one more stage now? We do. The good stuff. Oh, Zabel Far. Okay. Those are three fights, uh, three types, right? Weakness, light, non-elemental, high SPR, high defense. Okay. So I think if this is saying high defense, high stuff, I mean, let's go to the light team. I will copy wrong one, copy party. And let's load the previous party. Uh, I'll think about this, how to tackle the fight and I'll be back in a second. Alrighty, so I was told this fight is a complete joke compared to what it was on the JP server. So I will just, I haven't adjusted um, Angela yet, but Angela has Reaper Killer. No, she does not. Why does Angela not have Reaper Killer innately? Is what I'm asking myself right now, but it's fine. Here goes the Reaper Killer, uh, Purge of Pestilence. Wait, that does not compute. Conquering the fear of spirits is what I wanted. And yeah, so 75% Reaper Killer. We can go for a bit more. Uh, who had Reaper? Who had Reaper? Oh, it was Phoenix who had Reaper Killer. Um, so we should be at 200 now, right? 150. Should still be good, honestly. And if not, I will just probably go for a self kill. But yeah, this should be fine. Okay, so Ling has nothing. Actually, she is geared, but she doesn't need it. Only thing she needs is Dragon's Brush, Call of the Wild, and Advanced Weaponry. This is all that we need and all that we want. Actually, I do want more. We also need some form of light imperil, I just realized. And I don't think Ling has enough mana to do all of this. Yeah, it's consume LB gauge. And the killer also needs to consume LB gauge. 
So, how would I tackle this? Um, I kind of still want Louise on the team. I want Aerith on the team. So what's worth more? I think the Imperil is worth more than the Killers. We can still do Killers with Louise, so it's fine. Let's go. If I can get to 2.147 billion, it's going to be okay anyway. So we are going to imbue everyone with light. We are shifting Ling. Perfect. So Ling is going to triple Reaper Killer. Relling, though we don't need Relling. And I don't know. This one. Jeez Louise is going to. Uh, what's she gonna do? Incapacitate killers stuff. Rest doesn't matter. Angela's going to limit. Um, we are going to do triple AR this time. For very obvious reasons, we don't. Uh, we want to defeat all the bosses at the same time. Oh, it's only oh, Xon only has single target AR. Hmm, that's unfortunate. I'd say. Why does Xon only have single target AR? Is it time to bench Xon? Hmm, maybe. Because I think that our boy, what's his name? Onion Knight has AOE AR. That'd be better. But anyway, we'll see how much damage we can deal. So let's send in Angela. Okay, so I defeated all of them. That sounds about right. That we deal more than 2.14. Yeah. Okay, so we actually kept this boss. And that was... Even with me failing on the Imperil. I had no Imperil, I just realized that. So yeah, I guess... Yeah, that's damage cap. Oh wow, that was so anti-climatic. Anti I failed and I still won. <laughs> kind of funny to think about this. Well, tied for rank 1 with everyone, I guess. I will do probably different clears, but these don't seem very hard, honestly. Especially if you have Sephiroth. But anyway, that was the first Vision World. We will continue next Thursday uh, with the final boss, which is uh, this guy over here. So that one is especially hard. Uncapable, probably, maybe. We don't know, but we'll see. Maybe we can all share rank 1, that'd be great. But for now, this is it. Thank you all for watching. I hope this was helpful. I'll do more Angela videos later, today, tomorrow, Saturday. We'll see. But so far, bye-bye.